Hey guys, so WWE Wrestling Division here. Um, right now it is Wednesday, and uh, we are getting ready to make. Uh, well, we gotta get ready for our pay per view and stuff, guys. So you know, um, it is only two days until Valentine's Day. Now we got like that Valentine's Day promo coming up. It's our same three matches, guys. There's nothing new. Uh, so. Most of the people up here, they see up here, like the Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan, uh, not those guys, and Kevin Ash, they're no longer on our roster. Most of the people, I deleted a lot of people off our roster, since we have a lot of creative people up here now, and I'm also thinking of, uh, doing a couple more people but later on. So let's just get ready for our regular matches. I found out that episode 41 was uploaded two days ago, it's just that I didn't know that it was. So, I kind of felt stupid about that. It's just because it didn't officially upload on my phone and didn't show it. Um, I guess something was matter for my phone, but I was able to upload episode 42, guys. Episode 41 has the music, episode 42 doesn't, and neither does episode 43. I don't think I'll be uploading music until after episode 50, because um, I'll have everyone's music down, because I'm st I still have my to-do list on whose music has on what now. And since they're going to be starting creating the rosters and stuff, um, I don't know. Well, I mean, like, since it's going to start creating rivalries and stuff on its own now, I don't know what's going to happen officially, guys. So, yeah. So, introducing first, they are the tag team of AJ Lee and um, Brie Bella. Um, they are a total divas. We're just going to skip to their entrance. If you guys can hear this and see that this video is being uploaded a little late, it is because uh, all of everyone is gone in the house. Alright, and introducing next, they are on um, the tag team of Mackenzie and Kaylin. Um, they are the sexy divas and stuff. I don't, I still don't get why uh, Kaylin is uh, wearing her uh, wedding dress even though she knows that it's mostly tormenting Matthew to do something. Alright guys, I'm not officially sure what's happening on the Valentine's Day promo, because I put that in the hands of one of my friends, and uh, they're mostly controlling that now, so yeah. We have up to maybe a couple, like ten or more new uh, wrestlers on our show, let's see if we got him. So right now we have six new wrestlers on our show, guys. We um, are getting ready to make two more later on after this video is possibly over. And one of our new wrestlers, his birthday is coming up tomorrow. But since uh, we have enough time to record another video for the pre-show, he will be qualified into one of our matches. And we are getting ready to make a new X Division Championship, guys. So be prepared to see that. So the match is already started, guys. I kind of paused for a second because I'm trying to think on uh, what the match is going to be and how I'm going to qualify everyone. I think I want to qualify the debuting superstars, but I don't want it to be like that. So I think what I'll do is I'll do a fatal four-way match, and uh, we'll put our new champion as uh, him and stuff. If you guys wonder why I'm talking so blue, I'm kind of sick again, but not really. And, uh, I just don't feel like talking that much. Because in the last show, I wasn't even paying attention. I was watching a video, and then there she does that move, which is like, mostly killing everywhere out of Diva on the roster. But, um, yeah, I wasn't paying attention at all. I just know that, uh, Mackenzie won the match from last time, and then... Uh, I think I won. Yeah, I won defeating Keenan. Uh, it was either Keenan or Xavier Woods. And Keenan kind of attacked me. 
and then Dylan Matthew won by a disqualification or cat. No, and the other two, uh, Mackenzie won by disqualification and uh, Dylan Matthew either won by count or something. Well, I don't remember which one, guys. I'm just so confused. Didn't pay attention. I mean, what I'm saying right now, so. I'm gonna try to get one of my friends guys to uh, do a multiplayer, I guess, with us. Uh, but that's gonna be my other channel, and then I'm also gonna do another video and stuff. But I don't know if he'll be able to hear, if you guys will be able to hear him talking to me because of the mic, so yeah. I'll have to ask about that later on. So we're getting ready for Keno Kevin versus me. Um, it's a usual match. But after my rivalry with Keno Kevin is over, guys, um, he's going to be in a rivalry with his best buddy. Well, not his buddy. Uh, his, one of his actual rivals in the real world. Uh, Bullet Rick, so yeah. I don't... I think you guys notice I didn't talk about how I just got attacked. Because it's simple. It's just normal. I'm always going to attack now. I haven't even gotten a good handover attack. The only good over handover attack I got was when I only like Amari in the arena and he's just walking down like he's all bad A. And I just come out like forget it, I can't take this anymore. And I just jump out and like beat the crap out of him. So um, uh, wait, what am I doing? Alright, go back and go back. Really? I don't get how uh I don't even remember saying his to high fly and stuff. But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna not talk about the show right now. I guess I'll just talk about some news that I just heard about. I've heard that, uh, Hulk Hogan's returning to the WB guys, so yeah. Uh, Sting is negotiating a contract to WB too, so he might go against The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. Um,. I'm, I almost have enough money by the end of this week. I'll have enough money on Valentine's Day to buy my action figure. And I will be bringing back Friday Figure Frenzy for one night only for this year. And then next year I'll go back to Friday Figure Frenzy and upload all that other stuff. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah, there's a lot of returns coming up. Let's see what else we're going to return. Um. And uh, I think I also gotta edit my YouTube channel on the champions and stuff for uh, my other OWA. You know what? Speaking of that, I'll do that right now. And if you guys just heard that motorcycle, it's just the neighbors and all that other stuff. So let's just get back on the computer and what the heck would they watch it? I gotta pay attention because I don't want to um, miss anything. Alright guys, I also found out one more thing. It seems that when I look up my channel on Google, uh, it seems that I'm on a Canadian, like I'm popular in Canada for some reason. So it seems I'm, I'm trending on Twitter. Now I'm um, popular in Canada. So confused. And my channel doesn't get out that much. Okay. Alright, um... In previous days, I showed you guys, uh, the, u the usual stuff that I usually do and stuff. And I've, um... While looking up here right now, I have noticed that I've I only got 23 subscribers, so thank you guys. I'm going to wait until I get 30 guys to actually do that Royal Rumble that I promised, which I like just backed off and didn't do at all. And looking at my uploads, I uploaded like a video a week ago on the summary versus um, Emma, what's her face, uh, Emma Tanning. And that video already has 887 views. Uh, I uploaded 
ISNS Pick Fest. That one, like two months ago, guys. And that one has 1,645 views. And then we got the Cena Resort one, which is 2,774 views. So, yeah, it seems that we're on a um, roll, I guess. Alright, let's just go on discussion. Oh great, I guess I lost this match guys. He's getting ready for the GTS. He actually made me go to sleep guys, so yeah. Here hey guys, here's a spoiler alert. Um I'm not keeping my title this um at um, no way out because uh I just can't take it anymore. I'm tired of actually holding that title because I people can't expect me to actually um do all all work there. I worked here for at least, I don't know. Uh, on the actual show, it's been up to a year. Like, in a show kind of my wrestler support, like supporting and in facts, I worked up here for a year. Alright, what is he doing? Oh, come on! You won the match, dude! You've attacked me multiple times! I can't take the crap anymore! So, yeah. <gasps> We're just get ready for our latest match of the night, and then uh, we'll get ready for our, our other show. So, yeah. Alright, let's start in. Alright. Alright. I'm not sure how these entrances play out because um, there's no reason. The guys are the normal tire and stuff, so yeah, that gives me a little time to do this. Actually, I've got two pre-shows, because uh, we're going to also have another uh, title match, and that's going to be, be between uh, someone else, but I'm not officially sure who. I'll think of it.
I think the tag team champions are going to be one. I'll just come back to that one. Okay, so I just finished up my update on uh, that roster, but it seems that there's only one spot that is open, and that is the Tag Team Champions, because I don't know who's going to win exactly. And then there they do those dirty moves again. You see, the only thing I don't get is that most of the time they don't even fight. something guys we're gonna have like a couple new champions because um, after uh, what's it called um, I don't know what's it called it's over after uh, no way out series and stuff um, like Sunday or Monday um, there's going to be another exhibition title match, and it's going to be Dominic versus um, whoever wins, and stuff, so yeah. So I figured out what's the stipulation on if a wrestler has a birthday on the show. If a wrestler has a birthday on the show, they automatically get an exhibition title shot. Uh, if a diva gets it, well, uh, she gets uh, the, oh, well, she gets the. I don't know what to call it. Uh, well, she gets the women's title, yeah. No one's going to pretend to get the show over with, but it doesn't even get a one count. Um, yeah. So right now, guys, I'm on my YouTube channel, as usual, still, and I'm looking at the video views that we have, and we have 8,322 videos, so thanks. Thanks for all the video views, guys. Um, so yeah.
Dome's going for that devastating knockout punch, and since he's not wearing his gloves, it's going to be more devastating. Uh, he's trying to take a wire, he's trying to put hits to the heads of uh, Shane and Eminem because they have busted his head open multiple times, guys, so yeah. I'm just giving these guys that, uh, oh, oh, that's a really devastating move. Oh, um, but, yeah, I just got news that MVP from TNA is now bringing back, uh, Jeff Hardy at lockdown, so, yeah. Keanu Kevin's actually at, um, uh, going to lockdown. He's going to scout out the competition, trying to get some new wrestlers on our roster. So, um, yeah. That laggy move. Matthew better save him. Come on, Matthew. And but Dylan was able to save his soft stuff. He's good. Machine with that does save move. He's going for the pen. Matthew's gonna possibly come out now, but and he but he failed, but the other person is able to say stuff again. Suplex and boom, he hits it. First up, and punch in the face. This match is quite a little longer than usual. And he failed the move, guys, so there's no reason to watch this match. We're just gonna quit and simulate, guys, to figure out who, who's gonna win, what happened, and I bet nothing is really going to happen, so... Alright, guys, let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, Shane and Eminem won. Hmm. For someone who lags all the time, that doesn't seem to be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, stop the video here, um, get ready for our pre-show and stuff, so yeah. So like all good things must come to an end, guys. Uh, don't forget to power slam that pedigree button. Oh, crap. Don't forget to power slam, nah. Don't forget to body slam that subscribe button and super kick that um, like button. Alright, guys. Bye.